Good evening traders and welcome to today's webinar, Admiral Market Supreme New Edition. Uh, I will show you today some new uh, indicators that are part of a new Admiral Market Supreme Edition and they are very, very easy to use and I use it myself. Most of the time I have a couple of those indicators uh, put all time on the chart because they are they are really really very useful and I will show you today what are those new supreme edition indicators before we begin as always our standard is disclaimer explaining that online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience so please take into consideration that information this session is not suitable for everyone to get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, you should visit AdriaMarketsGlobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk. You're also proceeding further with me and pilot part explained that this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only and this is not a trading advice. So. Admiral Market Supreme Edition is available to download to, from a trader's room and from a specific web address that I will give you during this presentation. And don't forget that Admiral Market is officially best MT4 broker. So today we will talk about how to download and install the MT4 Supreme Edition. Then we will move on to indicators. Those indicators that we will cover are mostly mini chart, symbol information, Admiral Markel Keltner's band. This is a very useful indicator and I am in the process of preparing a strategy for trading. I have developed, I am, I've been developing the strategy myself and it will be presented probably in the, in the future. So Admiral Markel Kelter, Admiral Markel Spread, Admiral Markel Pivot Point, Admiral Symbol Info, Magnifier, Charted Chart and some of new indicators such as trade simulators. So let's let's delve into this, these uh, indicators and don't forget that uh, for deeper explanation of trade simulator please go and visit this web address where you can see how you can actually use a trade simulator and it's a bit of uh, I need to say subjective because it allows you to test your own strategy so it's used for backtesting and uh, if you have your own strategy you can do backtest with our trade simulator and uh, I personally as I said am in the process of developing uh, um, special system that will be used for scalp swings using Admiral Market Supreme Edition indicators and in my opinion Admiral Market's Kelter channel is the best definitely the best tool that can be found on the internet because other uh, free I mean free this is also free for Admiral Market users but those free Admiral uh, those free Kelter channel indicators are coded in a wrong way I have three different Kelter indicators and uh, one is working good Admiral Markets is working best because uh, Admiral indicator has uh, additional features for Kelter Band and uh, one of those Kelter Bands that I have is completely coded on the wrong way so I, I would never use it so you, if you want to use Kelter channel in your strategy go and download Armour Market Supreme Edition now let's see how it shows on real chart okay so this is the real chart let me show you and we can start you can see the indicators here okay so indicators Admiral candle countdown chart in chart high low Keltner local time I will deal with most of those indicators some of those indicators are old some of those are new so let's see those new ones that you should use one of my favorite guys uh, really you can see it every day in my analysis is definitely so-called Admiral mini chart when you double click the indicator you will see that uh, there is a window opening immediately when you click it and here you can see this window now the point of this window is to actually uh, give you guidance for future for some 
use it uh, for some um, uh, guidance for pairs and for uh, time frames that you will be using now and in the future. Now, when, I'm, when I say in the future, why? Because if you do multiple time frame analysis, you need to align time frames. Now, instead of uh, searching different uh, time frames like daily, weekly, four hour, one hour, it's, it's a bit uh, boring, right? And sometimes it, it, it's, it's uh, not very convenient to search through all those time frames. It's uh, really easy just to click here and get uh, the chart. Now, the, the, the biggest advantage of this chart is uh, it doesn't have only the standard time frames. So, let's see. First, chart symbol. When you click on chart symbol, let's say how I do it. I want to say, I want to see what dollar yen is doing on weekly, for example. I just go to chart symbol and I, and I put uh, weekly, okay, like this, and then you can check other, other, uh, chart symbol, sorry, dollar yen here. Uh, I see a lot of questions, guys. I will answer it. And here, other time frame, let's say I want to see weekly. I will put weekly one. Okay, chart time frame type, invert prices. If you want to see yen versus dollar, not dollar versus yen, then you can click yes, but I leave it as by default because we always say dollar yen, not yen dollar. So this should be left as default. Uh, okay, this is, I usually put this also on default. Uh, you can uh, go to Heike Nashi indicator, you see, two bar, uh, two bar average, three bar average, three line break, Heike Nashi, you can use that. But for simple, simple show off, you can just leave it as it is. You go here and you will actually see dollar yen, a weekly chart, okay. Now, uh, this is, it, it, it takes some time to load because it's, uh, internet is slowing down. Here, if, I, if you see a disconnection with my platform, please be patient because there are some works here and possibly we will see some, but let's hope not. Okay, so uh, let's, let's do it again. So, uh, if we go to indicators list, we have a mini chart indicator, go to Edit, uh, let's use, maybe it will load faster. Let's use uh, daily, okay, here. Okay, it, it's definitely, definitely lagging, you see here. Let me correct this and we, we can proceed. Okay, maybe it's lagging because of, okay, let's use again. So, mini chart, okay, here. Yeah, it's definitely lagging. Well, we can, we will get back on to these guys. So no worries, we will get back onto this as soon as it. I hope that the internet will uh, not break, but uh, well, we will definitely cover it. Okay. So let's move on to uh, next indicator that I want to show you. So next indicator is uh, is uh, chart in chart. Okay. When I click this, I can see different charts. So, I usually follow pairs that are correlated. For example, Euro dollar is negatively correlated with dollar yen. And when I press uh, here, uh, OK, you see, I can see Euro dollar chart down below, below my dollar yen charts. And that is, uh, that is very, very useful if you want to watch correlations. Now, what you can do is actually, you can uh, you can uh, uh, put uh, additional indicator as correlation indicator here and watch it basically like as Ilya said picture in picture. So when we put let's say correlation matrix, okay, we press OK, and here guys we have correlation matrix and we have uh, dollar yen and euro dollar in the same chart. So. You want to see correlation, you know how to do that. I already covered this and you can see here when you click add, definitely you will be able to see this uh, euro dollar. You see it's usually negative correlation and here it's indeed negative, minus 45 for our intraday time frame. And here guys you can see euro dollar going up but dollar yen is going down. Uh, the, Nathan, the screen should not be frozen. Uh, do you see the screen? I don't know why it should 
it should show correlation matrix and uh, chart in chart. Do you see now? Yeah, it's probably due to some internet uh, problems, but it's okay now. So you can see this case okay, so of correlation matrix here. See, dollar yen is going down, but euro dollar is going up. It's very good to use it as I do. For example, you want to see euro dollar and 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 let's say uh, we want to trade uh, let's say DEX for example. Okay, so DEX press add. Okay, and here, okay. DAX index, we will use higher setting and let's see if it will show, okay, 4 hour, okay, Euro dollar and DAX on 4 hour, 500 bars, not a big correlation, you see, it means that they move the same way on 4 hour. So what I do usually, I go to Euro dollar and then I will put 4 hour Euro dollar here and if I see that correlation, is uh, indeed as it is, well, we can use that information to actually trade, okay? Uh, well, a lot of tools will not work on your demo account, but uh, if you have live account, it, it should work. Uh, so if, you, if you're if you owner of live account, it will work. But on your demo, it will be restricted on 30 days also. So here you go to indicators list now, admiral, chart in chart, press edit, and uh, here you can see it's euro dollar we can change it let's see dex uh, okay like this okay okay unrecognized symbol let's see it should uh, display as in correlation matrix so we will we will let's see like this we can use with hypnation like this Let's see, Japanese 225. Let's see if this was possible, but okay, it, it, it isn't showing, but we will, we will make it. Let's see, correlation matrix again. Okay, okay, correlation matrix. And let's see again what it tells us. So here we have uh, DAX 30. Okay, so we have hypnation. Let's see if it will work or, or just for currency pair. It worked, so it should work again. So let's see, correlation and, and we will use, of course, we will use chart in chart, edit, and we will do it like this, okay? DAX 30 and here. If it works, let's see. Yeah, it should work because it worked in the past. It should work now. Yeah, okay. So here we are. As you can see now, we have DAX and we have Euro dollar, both on four-hour time frame. Now, if you watch at the price movement, we can basically see that DAX is very close to important resistance here. Is Euro dollar close to resistance? No, it's not. So what does it mean? How I usually watch it? I usually watch the Nikkei index and dollar yen because I to be honest guys I trade mostly yen pairs last couple of months except for session recap and my analysis that I do but I didn't trade a lot euro dollar it's been very very slow and I'm really it's too boring it, it has a low range it doesn't move a lot contrary to dollar yen and pound yen that are definitely definitely the best if you remember dollar yen analysis from last Friday you could have made hundred pips guys so it's it's pretty easy to, to trade the yen pairs now so this is but for for you who trade euro dollar you should always watch it with DAX index so let's say the DAX is close to resistance you see now DAX is also it, it, it's it's sitting here it doesn't go anywhere so what I would do is actually if I see that from from in this region Euro dollar starts to go down. It's also very close to resistance. But if it hits this region here and starts going down, and if I see that DAX also is going down, well, if DAX is going down faster than Euro dollar, that will be a signal for me to actually short Euro dollar, if you understand what I'm implying. So let's say, for example, that Euro dollar is in the resistance zone, okay? 
you need to, to use this resistance because this is the previous top, this is bullish order block here and here is the high. So this is where sellers should show. Now if you see that the price on, on Euro dollar is here and DAX 30 is already going down, you just need to zoom in to your lower time frame and try to search for a short trade because equities are faster than forex market okay equities are faster than forex market so when equities start to tank uh, forex will follow and you can see that basically uh, you're free to trade euro dollar and, and dax because here on our expert advisors it shows that there is no big correlation on four hour time frame now yeah this is a bit tricky because it doesn't show a lower time frame correlation but definitely on higher time frame you see it's it's uh, it's almost non correlated but you know if this is resistance and dex is going down euro dollar is if it if it were in the resistance zone it should follow to the downside okay now for that same kind of movement we would ideally want to see the pair pairs which are totally in correlation or negative correlation. For example, Nathan is saying you can show Euro Audi and Audi Suisse for negative correlation. Yes, Euro Audi, for example, we will add it here. Now, this is also how you can try to trade guys with this correlation. It, it's very, very good and it's very simple. So, Euro Audi and let's say Audi Suisse. So, we will add both and we will switch on intraday time frame that is 1 hour 200 bars okay so intraday correlation between those two pairs is pretty much i think negative yes and you see nathan you're very right euro audi i i knew that they were negative but i didn't know that it's minus 99 so completely negative direct direction so what you do is for example you go to 1 hour let's say uh, euro audi and here you can use Audi Suisse, okay? So we will put, okay, here. Oh, sorry, you see, it's, it's now my screen, uh, okay. My screen went down. Let me, guys, let's see if I can fix this. Really internet problems all day, but it's not my fault. Okay, just give me a second, I will try. Okay, we will switch to second monitor, so actually uh, I will share the screen again. Okay, so let's see if you can see the screen. You should be able to see the screen. Okay, we can deal with every sort of problem, guys. So no problems here. Okay, here, guys, okay? So let's do this again, okay, step by step. Uh, first, we will go to uh, Euro Audi okay here one hour time frame and select uh, template and here now we will go to Audi Suisse and we will we will uh, insert uh, Admiral indicator okay Audi Suisse so it's okay so it's chart in chart Okay, here you just need to press Audi, Suisse, and we should be able to see this. Okay, so here, there it is. So we can see now that uh, indicators are ag ag exactly aligned, and you can see a completely negative correlation, as Nathan was implying, 
minus 99. And uh, minus 99 correlation is uh, because if, you see, if uh, Australian dollar is going up, Swissy will go down. But at the same time, because Euro is also linked to Swissy, Euro Audi will go down. So Euro will drop, Audi will gain in strength. Audi will gain in strength, Swissy will drop. So see how Euro and Swissy are still correlated. So this is very useful because that can tell you that if you want to trade Euro Audi and Audi Swissy, you know where to start. For Euro Audi, this was obviously a good level of support. For Euro Swissy, this was for Audi Suisse, this was obviously a good level of resistance. So it's very important that you understand these concepts. Because if you see that one of those pairs already started to move, you know that you can go contra trade for the pair that is negatively correlated. Okay? So if Australian dollar Suisse is going down, but Euro Audi is still struggling to go up, you know that if this is going down, this will go up because correlation is very strong. And what you do is actually you just enter, you just enter a trade on, on in a long trade on your Audi, and you will at least make some good scalping trades. It, it's it's even better if you if you see that uh, that your system is telling you that you can go long here. Because if this drops, this will go up. And that is the strongest possible correlation. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. The only thing is, if it's positive, the pairs will move in the same direction. And if it's negative, then the pairs will, will move in an opposite direction. Okay, so that is uh, how we can deal with this. Now, uh, another thing is, uh, we can actually use uh, this indicator that I want, was going to show you very effectively. It's called Keltner. Okay, here when you drag Keltner indicator to the main window, you will see various uh, various settings. Here, if you leave it by default, it's very very useful because uh, Keltner by default has exponential moving average inside the calculation. But if you don't want to use uh, exponential moving average, you can use simple, you can use smooth it and linear weighted. I usually leave it as default. Of course, it's adapted to different strategies. So whenever you see a different strategy that says, for example, use uh, instead of EMA, use um, uh, SMMA that is smoothed, or use it at a different ATR multiplier, then you can do that. Uh, my str the strategy that I'm developing is using uh, different periods. You will know that very soon, so stay tuned. But this is very useful because when you press OK, you will see a clear and very, 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 very uh, strong Kelter indicator. Why I say strong? Because it's coded in the right way. Other uh, Kelter indicators that I've been searching over the Internet that are free ones are definitely, definitely wrong. I have a lot of, as I say, I have different Keltner indicators and none of them is as good as its Admiral Keltner because no no one of them will give you the opportunity to actually uh, uh, change those settings here and that is very, very important. You see there is a lot of settings that can be changed and adapted to various strategies, okay? So that is why it's it's been very, very, very useful. Okay, another thing, uh, another thing to uh, to go for is actually. Uh, so this is Kelter, yes, guys. This is it's called Admiral Kelter. You can see it here. Okay, it's Admiral Kelter indicator. Very, very, very useful. Okay. Uh, yes, Nathan, uh, he's referring to uh, chart in chart. If you use chart in chart then definitely you will not have an extra exposure for trading two pairs. Definitely you will not have an extra exposure and that is very good because you can clearly see support and resistor levels in the real time. Now another chart, another tool that is very useful, I like it, it's, it's small but it's called spread indicator. Uh, you just need to uh, 
uh, put it on your main screen and you will see this is historical spread. So we, we, we actually can see the history of the spread. If we leave it running, we can see the history of the spread. So for example, if someone tells you that euro dollar spiked uh, two, I don't know, two hours, three hours ago uh, to 11, 12 pips, you can easily check it by watching your historical spread. And that is very, very, very good, and I really like it. It's, I mean, it's not needed, right? It's not 100% needed, but it's very useful, especially for new traders, because new traders can detect spreads easily. And also, historically, you can see how the spread went if you put it on the indicator. So a very, very, very useful indicator. Yes, uh, Nathan Kelter is also very useful to detect squeeze. And if you use it with Bollinger Band, it's called the Bollinger Band Squeeze. And uh, I personally tested Bollinger Band Squeeze. It gave me mm, not so good results, to be honest. I was hoping that Bollinger Band Squeeze can give better results if you want to go with a breakout trade. But unfortunately, I, I know it, it's... it's it, there has been a lot of talk about Bollinger Band squeeze, but uh, in my back testing, it didn't give me uh, good results. Uh, because whenever I, I publish something or I say this is my personal strategy, I do a back test. And uh, I try to develop a Kelter based strategy on, uh, with Bollinger Bands, but unfortunately, it didn't give me good results. This strategy that I've been preparing will be, and it's being tested, and it will be good, believe me. Now, uh, it's, it's also based on, on Kelters. Uh, okay, so this is spread indicator. So here you can also, uh, uh, you can also uh, squeeze this window to look like this. If you don't need the, to, to watch historical spreads, you just left click and squeeze it down. Also, very good indicator that I really like to use is so-called candle countdown. So if you put it here, be sure that color is not white. Uh, because if it's if color is white, you won't be seeing that on a white template. You can use whatever color it is. We can use red, whatever. And here, uh, time frame for clock can be current chart and can be also uh, different. That is very useful if you are doing multiple time frame analysis. So we can use one hour time frame and put four hour candle countdown. You see, there is 31 minute till four hour candle closes. Now, if you go to uh, this uh, drop-down menu and go to one hour, you will actually see that there is 30 minutes, of course, because they are now aligned. But if you go, let's say, to five minutes here, okay, you will see that it will close in 48, 45 seconds. So very useful indicator if you, if you combine it with multiple time frame analysis. I, I like multiple time frame analysis. And because of that, I'm really fond of using uh, this uh, candle countdown. So this was a very, very good job by a German office who uh, actually, which actually made all of Admiral Market Supreme Edition. So very, very good. Uh, and now, guys, be prepared for pivot indicator. Very good indicator. You know that I am a big fan of Camarilla. And this is a classic pivot point. I, I don't have the intent to change my Camarilla. But guys, if you're looking for Camarilla, for, uh, sorry, uh, uh, for standard pivot point indicators, this is the right tool. So watch this, guys. You will have clearly defined pivot points. But this is not just pivot points. Watch this. If you go to indicators list, here, pivot point, time frame for pivot points. You can watch hourly pivot points. That is the biggest advantage. So if you scalp, guys, you know that five minute time frame actually corresponds to one hour pivot points because five minute time frame will respect uh, one hour pivot points better than daily pivot points because it, because one hour pivot points are changing and they change each hour. So that is what I like to see. Finally, uh, we don't need to use 
uh, other hourly pivot point indicators there on the internet. Now it's at within our grasp and it's very, very, very useful for scalping strategies. Very useful for scalping strategies. So here we go again, indicators list, admiral pivot, and here. If you put time frame one hour, you will see one hour, hourly pivot points. If you guys scalp on one minute time frame, you can use five minute pivot points. Watch this. This is great. I really like this. Especially if you're scalpers, guys. If you're scalpers, then use this indicator more than anything else. It will give you pivot points for lower time frames. That was very, very hard to find, almost impossible over the internet. So very useful. Okay. One of these features, you can change whatever you want. Show line, show labels, bar offset, whatever you want. You can even change fonts here. Okay, calculation for pivot point. You can go with typical, weight, median, close, average of closes. I leave it as default. Okay, so very, very, very good indicator. Okay, now one more thing uh, uh, for for your questions. Uh, free hand drawing at uh, then uh, te terminal and under indicators. Ilya, I will prepare another webinar because I still need to test it myself to feel comfortable with it, and then I will do that because I didn't use all the tools. Now I'm 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 giving you uh, uh, the, uh, the explanation about tools that I use the most, and for free hand drawing and and. Uh, um, uh, this uh, trade simulator, I will do a special webinar. So stay tuned. Uh, the webinar will be in September. Okay. Okay. You should. Yes, I will cover it uh, uh, by mouse. You should draw it by mouse. But uh, let me do that uh, uh, next time. Now let's focus on this. What I have prepared. Also, guys, very very good indicator. Much better than Renko indicators out there is this Renko because when you use these guys you see it's it's very good in its own sense because Renko is not time frame dependent so whenever you see 10 pip of price action here by default you will see another Renko block now if you put let's say 15 pip whenever price prints 15 pips it will print out a new Renko block. So all these blocks have 15 pips. Now, what I do usually, if I don't want to see the price, we can just leave Renko. You can go here, properties, then line graph to none, then go here, click here, then you can actually use it here. So now you don't see price, you just see Renko. And this is very good because it is good for Renko based systems. Now, if you have a Renko system that you want to trade, I advise you to use this indicator instead your own Renko indicator. It doesn't need offline charts. It doesn't need uh, to set up something special. It works uh, as its own. It works on its own. So it's a standalone indicator without scripts, without anything that can hinder your trading okay so click here indicators list go to Renko and just change the size you can go with ever whatever size you want you can go even with 50 60 press here you see this is 60 pip price action that is useful for hard time frames guys okay so you see you can use this, experiment with this, and if you are fond of using Renko, guys, don't forget that Renko higher setting is used for uh, swing trades and for scalp trades. We usually use five, six, four, uh, and you can do it on lower time frames. And for uh, intraday setups, we usually leave it and use it. As 10 here if you want to see price then you just need to have a line graph here and 
just go here and you will actually see the price itself so this is very good and I really really like this especially for those people who trade Renko I trade more I, I was on more of range bars and I do uh, I did few tests with range bars back in days but now I'm strictly fo focused on uh, price action on price itself uh, using Camarilla using strategies that you will see soon and of course EQ so guys uh, if you're fond of Renko or you like range bars this will definitely come handy so use it now high low indicator here guys daily high daily low if you're fond of pivot points this is a must so instead of drawing it manually as we did you remember quadrants price section lesson one you can just place this indicator and you will see daily high and daily low usually breaks of daily highs and daily lows during volatility uh, you will see that uh, it's good for making breakout trades so it doesn't depend on a time frame because it uses daily calculation you will see the same on five minutes whatever because it represents daily high and daily low and that is very good and very very easy to to spot if you use breakout systems some of breakout systems that you should pay attention to definitely use daily high or daily low as a breakout but of course uh, the uh, the primary uh, purpose of daily high is daily low not just to trade breakouts but to see the confluence of other important support and resistor levels because daily high and daily low are currently the strongest level of support and resistance even more even stronger than pivot points because the price is trapped within daily high and daily low and pivot points can change for example if you go to Admiral it doesn't matter we can use daily pivot points here guys this is what I'm saying they change from day to day but at this day you see that R3 definitely corresponds to daily one so if you see that price is getting close to daily uh, high you know that there is resistance so you might try to actually go for counter trend opportunity this can be useful if you use confluence for placing divergence trades because if you see bearish divergence here within this confluence this confluence guys is very strong it has R3 and daily high so this should reject the price once it, it comes here it did it, it, it there wasn't a retest there hasn't been a retest on one hour so this should be a retest if it goes up it should drop so watch for divergence here and rejection so that is how you can also try to use daily high and daily low not just as breakouts because if you are if you're trading end of day uh, chances are that you won't be seeing a lot of breakout trades rather you will see either a fake out or rejection so when you see a confluence of daily high and pivot point daily pivot point especially you know that probably it's a good place to play a good spot to place a counter trend or divergence trade okay so it's very good so guys please don't hesitate to use it it will definitely be handy definitely symbol info let's see if this shows yes so symbol info you can actually place it here uh, place a symbol whatever you want whatever pair you want press OK and here you will see different time frames and indicators the key to symbol info is aligning different time frames so here you see daily is strong to the upside four hours strong one hour is strong now you watch you go to see where the indicator has retracement so five minute and 15 minutes are showing retracement go to 50 minutes and see there is retracement indeed go to five minutes and see there is retracement indeed on one hour guys there is hardly retracement on four hour there is no retracement on daily there is no retracement okay so let me remove this see there is no retracement so this is how you can actually align time frames that has mo that have momentum with time frames that are losing momentum for potential uh, setups okay 
So this is what you should watch also. It's called Symbol Info. It gives VMA 14, MACD 12, 26, 9, awesome oscillator, PSAR and CCAE, CCI on 14 default. So you see the trend is to the, to the upside. So what you do is zoom down to lower time frames and try to spot an entry on a time frame that has retracement. Remember, guys, EQ pivot point Murray Math method that Chris and I developed are is based on aligning time frames. The results have been great so far, really, and uh, this is a tip for you guys. Align those time frames. When you know that the trend is to the upside, and clearly now euro dollar is to the upside, just watch where it shows red. So it means that that time frame is under retracement. You want to use retracement for another long. For example, you could have used this retracement here on five minutes because in the time when it showed retracement, M5 was probably all red. And then try to search for an entry. This can be incorporated into your own strategy or your own strategy can be empowered and enhanced with this. So that is how I do it. If I see that all time frames are, are aligned, it means that the trend is strong. So I drop down to lower time frame and wait for retracement. Which time frame is indicated by uh, red uh, circles? If I see three or four red circles on 15 minute time frame, I will use M15 to go long, guys. So that is how you actually uh, can use this indicator. Very, very useful. Okay? Very useful. And now let's see if this works. It, it, it worked for me. I don't know why it didn't work uh, on webinar start. It should work. So mini chart, let's try again. Yes, it works now. You see, it's definitely something with this internet and it works now. Let's so go to mini chart. You can use current chart symbol. You can use other symbol. Let's see if we have the luck with other symbols now. Let's see dollar yen. Okay, dollar yen. Uh, let's use four hour time frame. Now it works. You see dollar yen four hour time frame. It shows on euro dollar five minutes. So very good for a lot of things. For example, when I do the analysis and you read it every each day on Admiral Markets and Forex Street, let's say I want to do dollar yen analysis and I do it on intraday. So what I do is actually I uh, go to my uh, indicators list. Okay, uh, let's see indicators list, mini chart, dollar yen and I put daily time frame. Okay, daily time frame. See, now it's daily time frame, guys. See? Very, very useful. Daily time frame, and you can actually see where daily is heading. And if you see that it's bearish, it's clear for us that we should go short. Well, you don't, I mean, you can always go here and check it, but why do that? Why all the hassle if you have this set of tools to actually make you money? And guys, it's in everyone's interest to make money because brokers are make the brokers make money from spreads. So if you're a successful trader, it's in best broker interest to be successful because you will earn money and brokers will earn money and everyone is happy. So that is that is uh, why you should always try. And guys, believe me, uh, uh, you should always never ever quit. No one is able to make money consistently when they start to trade. Just practice. You will see there will be losing days. There will be losing months. But overall, you should be profitable if you are per per persistent enough. And that's the point. And these tools definitely help you to trade better. They are not just fancy tools that are eye-catchy. This is the core of my analysis now, this mini chart. I won't be posting any analysis without this chart because I want to show how you should actually treat the price. 
and that is what I do. When I go, when you see my analysis, you will see daily chart and you will see the logic in it. Why would we go long if we don't have a divergence on daily? If we see that there is no divergence here, it's going down, so you just need to align and find confluence points where to short it. Why all the hassle about hundreds and hundreds of these indicators like uh, RSI, CCI, uh, fancy names for those custom indicators, those marketeers who will sell you everything to, to actually earn money from you, most of those indicators are based on those default indicators, guys, that are default on MT4. And these are simple indicators that will make your trading life easier. This is what you should have, not some uh, fancy name indicators from marketeers. This is price action. Price action is the key. Risk and price action. If you know how to manage the risk, trading will be much easier. And look this. Look at this daily time frame. You, you can even use other time frames if you don't want to use daily. Some people use eight hour time frame. It's also good because eight hour can give you good levels of support and resistance. Check it here, guys. Okay, check it here. Dollar yen eight hour. Very, very, very good. You see, it's trying to make head and shoulders now. And you can see that on one hour time frame here. See? If it spikes up. So just combine it how you see it fit. Carolyn is saying, hello, Nenad. I mixed the hours, so I'm late. No problems, Carolyn. Uh, this webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded. So don't worry. And uh, what I wanted to tell you, one small, one more indicator. Let's see. Yeah, symbol info. I covered it. And terminal info here, guys. Now we will, yeah, we will deal with this uh, next time, uh, whatever local time. No, yeah, definitely here. You go to local time, go to inputs, label, color, switch to some other, and here you receive local time here. Now, why this is useful for traders who are trading? who are trading in their own time zones. Admiral Markets platform has its advantage over other platforms because it uses Eastern European uh, time for the candle close. Eastern European candle time corresponds to New York close. So when uh, that is, in my opinion, the best time frame for trading. But some traders can actually be confused with this. And because of that, you can use local time. You just need to uh, draw it to your chart, and if you're using, you see, if you're using a, a white template, you should change color because you won't be seeing anything. Whatever color you see fit, and see, this is local time. So now our local time is six, uh, six p.m. candle is current in process, and here we have a several seven-hour candle in process. So see, uh, my time is six-hour candle, and uh, uh, platform time is seven. So it's always ahead one hour of my own time zone. But I don't have problems with this. I reckon that some traders can have problems. And because of that, this can be very useful. Uh, it's very good also for traders who live uh, far away from Europe. And they can actually see their local time uh, in um, correlation to platform time. So uh, this annual market platform time is definitely using the best time setting for for, uh, in my opinion, best time frame setting. It corresponds to Eastern European time. That corresponds to New York close time. So, guys, this is what I have prepared for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, uh, I will prepare another uh, webinar for, uh, uh, for other uh, additional tools that I haven't managed to prepare for this webinar. Uh, but I just wanted to pass... Uh, what I use, uh, how we can use it, and it's very, very, very good. Uh, freehand drawing, we can actually, you see, Ilya, I di I'm not familiar with this. Until I'm f familiar, well, I, I uh, will use it, okay? Uh, 
one uh, admiral gravity indicator okay here uh, time period is normal well I guess yeah probably you see you can use it on every every time frame you see Derek I, I don't see what what should be the problem you can use it on every time frame this is gravity indicator see here it marks the zones here levels but it, it works on every time frame well, I will cover this also but just for your question you see it, it, it works did you check the indicator setting here you should see you should uh, check this all time frames Derek check all time frames and check if it works for you because when you when you have it on all time frames it should work definitely on all time frames Carolyn is saying I would love to see I would love to see some hand drawings from you. Yes, Carolyn, I will try that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Derek, I want to see only on one hour. Okay, here. What you can do is go to indicators list, go to gravity, go to visualization, uncheck all time frames, check one hour, and yeah, it shows it, it doesn't work. It well definitely it work it will show on every single time frame. So yes, if you want to see only on, on one hour, well, I guess, well, you see, it, it still shows on every other time frame, so it doesn't matter what we click. Well, probably, I guess the logic is, uh, you see, these levels are zoomed out now, but if you zoom in, it will correspond actually to one hour. So probably that is the feature inside the coding, but not problem. Not a problem. Uh, we will cover this, uh, guys, all of this uh, in next session. Gravity, uh, then uh, uh, trade uh, simulator, uh, freehand drawing, so stay tuned. Okay? Uh, okay, gravity indicator is very good to spot uh, these interim support and resistance levels. So when you see that the color is blue, very, very strong blue, well, it means that this, this is now the strongest level at this point. And when it goes and switches color, it means it's going within uh, the zone. So uh, uh, less blue means it's a resistance zone. When you see a fade blue, it means that it's a strong resistance. Okay, so it, it shows you where the price actually gravi gravitates towards. So it's, it's very good. Uh, we will cover this in a more depth, okay? So, uh, let's see if we see any questions. So, yeah, we, we dealt with technical problems today with internet, with power outage, and now everything is good. So, guys, uh, use this, okay? As I say, we will have a next session in September. Uh, you can uh, send me questions uh, concerning uh, Admiral Market Supreme Edition tools. I will respond. As I say, uh, still need to check a uh, few others that I haven't had the opportunity to check. But all of this that I have been showing you today is checked and it works very, very good. And I gave you some pro tips, so use it. Uh, I will be on holiday from 23rd of August till 5th of September. So you won't be seeing uh, webinars and analysis. And I will be back on 5th September and then we actually get back standard session recap webinars, standard price action training school, and when we finish with price action training school, there will be, in addition to session recaps, also one additional webinar, probably Wednesday, where we will try to trade live with swing trading based on price action training school, of course. So guys, thank you. If you have any questions regarding these indicators, Feel free to email me, I will answer, and stay tuned for next webinar about these wonderful tools. Thank you guys, thank you for questions and comments, see you soon. Cheers everyone, trade safe.